ever since I threw hiked the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019. Yes! Woo! I've been searching for new long trails to hike, for that feeling of freedom and adventure only the trail can provide. And in 2020, my destination was Norway. This trail is called the Massive Trail. It runs 350 kilometers through four national parks and some of Scandinavia's most amazing scenery. My journey began in Oslo, the capital of Norway, where I resupplied and did a little sightseeing. The same night, I jumped on a night bus that took me to a field station called Sota Seta, the northern terminus and the gateway to the first stretch of the trail, Breheimen, home of the glaciers. After two days of rough weather, I made it through Breheimen. So far, I had only met a few other hikers on trail, but no through hikers. After being warmed up in Crossbow, I set my eyes on the next stretch, Jotunheimen, home of the giants, starting off with a glacier crossing on the notorious Fenera. When I planned the hike, I knew I was in for a solo experience. The trail is rather new, established in 2016, and not many hike it in one go. And those who do, often hike from hut to hut, rather than sleeping in a tent, like I did. 
but I was now four days into my hike and I was starting to wonder whether I would meet any other through hikers on the trail. On the morning of day five, I stumbled into Ashley and Dylan, who were also through hiking. We quickly got along and decided to hike together towards my favorite section of the trail, Skarpheimen, home of the cliffs. While many of these mountain huts are staffed, some are unstaffed, and we were even lucky enough to have one all by ourselves. It's definitely spam and it tastes weird. <laughs> <laughs> After a night's rest, I head into Tune Crusad, the only resupply option available on the trail, and hike back the same day to regroup with Ash and Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> Shake it off! <laughs> Refreshing. After five days of hiking together, we decided to part our ways. Ash and Dylan were hiking the trail hut to hut, and even though I didn't mind camping near the huts, I just could not afford the extra cost. After all, beer is not anywhere cheap in Norway. On the 10th day, I started hiking solo again, and entered the final stretch of the trail, Hadangavida, the Great Plateau of Hadangar. Little did I know, I was in for one hell of a finale in my final days on the massive trail.
After 350 kilometers, four national parks and 15 days, I reached the end of my journey. While the hike naturally can't be compared to the grandness of hiking for almost half a year from Mexico to Canada, the massive trail was everything I hoped for. The scenery was mesmerizingly beautiful and quite different from section to section. From green and lush valleys to bare, snowy mountain plateaus, where you can see as far as the eye stretches. And besides that, I also really liked how the trail does not feel too crowded, and not totally isolated either. <laughs> Even though only a handful through hike the trail every year, I met people on the trail every day. The beautiful thing is, you can choose for yourself, whether you want to enjoy the coziness, traditional Norwegian food, it's basically like and company that the mountain huts offers, or the solitude and raw beauty of wild camping somewhere along the trail. If there's one thing to consider, resupplying is a little tricky, but the supermarket at Tjönkrisset is placed almost halfway through the trail, and there's also often a little shop or food stock in the huts where you can buy snacks and simple food from. Overall, I can only give the Massive Trail my warmest recommendations to anyone out there watching this film and who's thinking about going on a through hike. The Massive Trail would be a great trail for training for a longer through hike, but it's most definitely also quite the adventure in itself. I'm sure glad I went for it, and I'm looking forward to my next visit to the beautiful country that is Norway. <laughs>